The EF3 tornado caused more than $7 million worth of damage in the Hill City alone. And tonight, more roads are back open, but many people are still without power. 10 News reporter Magdala Lusant has a look inside one of the hardest hit neighborhoods. This is a bird's eye view of the demolished trailer homes at the Brentwood Mobile Home Complex. From the ground, you get a different perspective. Oh my gosh. The power lines was wrapped around my trailer and and so I couldn't even get out my trail for about a day or two. Dean Raglan just moved into his trailer six months ago. He was in his room when the tornado ripped through Lynchburg Sunday night. It hit all at one time. All the trees just come down and boom, hit this trail beside me and the one in front of me and didn't touch my trailer. So I was just lucky. This is what several trailer homes in Lynchburg look like. The family lost everything. A tree fell on top of it. Their neighbors tell me they are so lucky they weren't home at the time. Because if they had been home, they wouldn't be here. So, you know, all the trees come from behind my house and they're right on top of theirs. So. While the Red Cross helps Raglan's other neighbors get back on their feet, he considers himself blessed to have only gotten wind damage. He says he's also learned a valuable lesson here. But I am getting that insurance after this. I will get homeowner's insurance in case it somehow happens again. In Lynchburg, Magdala Lusant, 10 Newts, working for you.